Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new let's play of Europa Universalis for Vertius et Fortitudo. It's a bloody mouthful, isn't it? Uh, so this campaign is going to be known as the French Ambition. So it's pretty obvious we're going to be playing as someone in France, and we are going to be playing as France. As they're a nation I've never actually attempted to play, and I just thought that this mod would be a little bit of fun for it. So let's go straight in the game. Now I have had a look at uh, this this part, like uh, had a look around and see what's what. I haven't had a look at obviously how strong everyone is, but I have had a look at who we can uh, force into, well, put as rivals. And well, we don't really get a, a choice of uh, some powers, so keeping Castile would be a good alliance. So we're going to make sure I get that alliance straight away. Uh, we're already an ally, enemy of uh, enemy of uh, England, so that's that sorted out. So we have sixteen thousand men down here. Get that one straight up north. Right, the most powerful, the weakest of my um, uh, vassals. I'm going to influence them into. Well, we're going to annex them first. Purely because the, if we keep the stronger ones, the better. So, for, first, oh, okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of oh, fucking hell. Welcome to Vertiace for Ed Fortudo, a total conversion mod for Europe Universalis 4. This mod introduced a large number of enchanted game, enchant, enhanced gameplay mechanics, including new research, idea groups, factions, uh, religions, trade goods, and much more for your benefit. Uh, Vertiace Fortudo provides several tutorial screens to guide to help you. And then we've got. This where our opinion of them is increased by five. Didn't I don't know what the uh how much what's the max relations Oh. Ah. So this is gonna be one of those this is one of those things where we have to um Yeah, into the stages. Great. That's something I want, didn't want. But uh I am not I'm not gonna read any tutorials, I'm just gonna try and do this uh off just, just blindly, I found that more interesting. Every year, the administrative capacity of your realm is calculated. If you exceed capacity, the nation will be subjected to negative effects, including reduced tax collection, civil unrest, and unhappy vassals. Administrative capacity is determined by government type, level of centralization, selected grouped ideas, idea groups, research, buildings, and buildings, construction each province, coin provinces, and ensuring that your nation has green. Uniform culture and religion can increase capacity of a factor. Factors that are unique to specific nations can uh, also in fact affect the ma maximum number of provinces you will be able to govern. Uh, I do not know how we te I tell uh, how many I'm able to govern, but uh, I'm going to guess it's one of these. Uh, just because I have a feeling I should probably just hide all them for now, because I don't really think they all part way straight in with appeals, which is. Piss everyone off. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with what I did for that. So yeah, so it does this. Uh, when I first saw this, I didn't. I wasn't very happy about what they did here, but because it doesn't look units fit at the moment, I think hopefully they're probably gonna uh, finish the rest of it. But anyway, we've been excommunicated by the person. I didn't make a rival. No, I did make him a rival. Oh, that's a dick, isn't it? So when that's uh, that's really not good. So we're gonna have apparently, yeah, we're gonna have now some increased revolt risk, which is great. Uh, right, rival navy outnumbers us. Implement emergency naval construction, which, uh, in my opinion, could be a good. Uh, hey, you know what? Why not? They're galley, so uh, we put them there. We have two trade cogs, so which will probably tra we'll trade in Paris. Uh, so that's just um, soldier on. So uh, for, I do wish my I, there was like it was the same way to integrate vassals, but if it's not, it's not. But we do have Spain on our side, who's in the Iberian Tech Group. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, that's my two thousand men there. Of the how many men can I have? I can have quite a few men, so that's good. So this is gonna tell base axe four. That's good. Uh, 
Oh, I've not. I this game, this mod does look very nice, though I must admit. So, uh, the first thing I really give a crap about is you completely uniting our realm, such as taking cores. Now, where does the empire expand to? Dauphin is in the empire. The leader of the empire being Luxembourg. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. But what I will do is I'll build up my military in the north first. And two units of cavalry. I should be doing that. Should be fine for the army in the north for now. But uh, put, we'll put up to full speed and we'll get this army built a bit quicker. Taking our cores in Dolphine will be a very, very useful uh, idea thing. Oh, let's improve. Might as well a state marriage. That will hopefully uh, make him want to join. No. Hmm. It looks like we'd probably be alone. And I've just realised that Burgundy is in our way. Burgundy is a vassal of France. So that's beautiful. That's a nice vassal, in my opinion. Uh, there we go. Now my men all have the morale. So we've got eight, nine thousand men up here. Apparently, we need one more army there. We'll uh, get that eventually. We'll save money in the moment. It's not good to you standing there actually. Change our traditions. Why would we do that? No. Oh yeah, there was something that we could do. We can add a policy, which. Uh, is either one of these. So, which one looks nicest? Hmm. We can only do one of these, so which one would we do? Now, I guess we have diplomatic relations, reputation, sorry. We'll go for this for now. I believe that gets rid of a point out of here. Yes, it does. It's this. So uh, we, so people are fabricating claims on us. We have a very, very strong vassal uh, following. Well, vassal, eight, seven, seven. So we've got quite. We've got just with these t our top vassals. We've got more than enough, more than enough capable men. What's this? Grain price is too low. The Xcrats landowners in Numos are complaining that the prices we have set for the grain are far too low and they do not have sufficient income. They demand an increase in prices, support on the agriculture because will greatly upset the city dwellers as the price of bread will significantly rise. One of our advice is we simply allocate funds to the Xcrats to placate them, or we could just ignore the whole issue. That seems easier. Now we do have a personal union with you, which will probably end. It is probably set to end now. Or is it? Yeah, because we don't have we don't have positive prestige. Oh, what's this one? Aristocrats demand appointment as judges. <sighs> you can read that if you want, guys. I want to make the two aristocrats too happy or too unhappy. I really don't know what it will do, but. Right, do we need any of these? I'm going to guess we don't, to be honest, but. I mean, one goal. Crap, we've, uh, we're spending quite a bit of money now, army wise. Yeah, I went over my limit. Quite half heftily as well. Let's get rid of the cavalry and let's get rid of two units of these and we'll keep it at 5,000. That way it's... We should be uh, more... Yeah, we're one off the limit, but I prefer not to uh, go any further down than that. That's Savoy, Joe. There we go. Switzerland, Ferrara, Milan, Pisa, Luxembourg. 
I'm guessing that's actually probably a bad idea because Luxembourg's probably got quite a few men just from being the emperor. What about province? Ah, uh, they're subject to Naples, which isn't good. Mallorca? Pisa and the subject of Aragon. Aragon, who is allied with only Pisa. And I have no reason to war with you, but... See, I, I, actually, Castile would join, so... Oh, well, fuck, I already stood right next to you anyway. So, why not take this back from Mallorca? If there is, if we've got a... Oh, we also have an Id army idea slot taken. Oh, you have a lot of uh, ideas. Jesus Christ. And it takes up ten of these. Oh, that's good. I like that. Alright, it looks good. Um, well, there's no reason for us to go to war with them, but... Well, there is, but obviously you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so Castile is on our side. That's all I needed. Uh, merchant defects. Our uh, use of mercant uh, mercantilist policies is proving frustrating for some of our merchants, causing them some to affect other countries. We'll just resend him to Bordeaux afterwards. Oh fuck yeah! We have to make sure we have to. I actually have to pick the person. So, uh, yeah, we really do outnumber them in this war. We just need for the armies not to be stupid. Like that. Aragon's got a much different flag this time. I've Who is that with the lines? That's Foy. So, my port to blockade it. Good for me. I suppose that's something I will have to live with. Well, might as well come and say hello. Oh, wait. Well, I remember, we need leaders. There we go. Might as well go see Rolion as well, and uh, Rossillon, and take that, if we can. We have most, we have pretty much all of the north under control. To be honest, when I went into this, I thought, I didn't know if Burgundy was a vassal of France, so... Yeah, the French ambition... Uh... We're going to keep it at that, I think. Or at least whatever I said at the beginning. I have already forgot, but I will watch before. I will rewatch the beginning so I can remember it, probably. But anyway, let's just continue with the Siege of uh, Mallorca. Which is a duke, because it's a vassal of Aragon. You under anyone? No, you're not, but you like me. You also are in group tech group battalion. Uh, what what's been no just it doesn't do anything apparently so but anyway we need to get a med medieval industry so I can have all of these cool buildings being able to be built that's one siege done for me well my vassals are a bit more powerful than I've ever, I seemed they seemed I was ho I wasn't I was hoping they weren't this strong but. Why you say I have one if you don't give me one? So these sieges will take a bit longer unless we use boats, but I don't really think we've got the Yeah, we don't really we really don't have the naval advantage here. Nor can we get one. That's the that's very unfortunate, but it's the truth. And uh, the ones that I could, oh, crap, we have a five, we have a three k. Uh, I'll use Philip uh, the fourth carpet to uh, carpet to go uh, deal with this little rebel problem. From what it looks like, we've won that quite handily. Yep, we did. We won that pretty handily. So let's just finish these sieges. Um, Ah, uh, we have a province all the way over there. I wonder if this army will be able to get there. 
once his uh, morale has increased. Okay, Sax. Ah, fuck you then. Yeah, there's actually no way of getting there. Ah, oh, great. Some Lombard Patriots are in. Uh, what is it? Is that. Ah, oh, it's Astria. So we finished one of our sieges. Let's go finish the second. Uh. Well, we've seized you. There we go. Let's uh, sit in our own territory. We don't want to lose any men. So, did, have, has this mod added any new? No, it hasn't. I don't think it's added any new stuff. Well, that is all I want. It does make some people angry, but in my opinion, it's... Well, we're getting, regaining France. In my opinion, it's worth it. So, um, let's instantly send an admin person there. We'll sit on that. We have our core back. We also have Rosalon. Or Rosalion, or however you pronounce it. Sweet, Andoria is his own country now. Well, that's hilarious. They're in a personal union with Foy, which means they'll more than likely be part of my country eventually. Fair enough. Hmm. So I improve relations with you, would I be able to uh, get there? Well, it won't hurt to try. <sighs> Stupid rebels. It would have been nice to know that I own that province though, to be honest. Wait a minute, we're going to get rid of all of our empire provinces actually while I think about it. Oh, we did. That was the only one left. Because uh, while the Emperor's weak, we might a weak little Luxembourg, uh, Lux, uh, Luxembourg, it's worth it. But anyway, na 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 naive rel relative. A close member of the family of our ruler has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners vital information publicly. This is technically treason, but executing a member of the royalty might cause unrest. Ah, oh, be fine. Hopefully. So let's just continue on along with this uh, campaign. How many points we need? We need 552 for that. Apparently these lands aren't very happy in the first place. What would that be? Oh, overextension. Whatever that is. Oh, excommunicated, yeah. While I think about it, that's probably a very, very good thing to um, correct. Well, at least let's hope we can correct it. Carnival jokes. Apparently, I'm not amused. Who would have thought it? Coptic. Or Coptic. Don't really know which way round people would pronounce it, but. Quite a lot of people are falling in these two provinces. Oh my god, that's a good air. Uh, five five two. What's our character now? Sweet. Ye Jean Carpet or Ye or which I really don't. It's one of those two. Wow, they just really hurt. Increased recruitment. With word reaching the restructuring that our national power is in the optimal shape, they offered up the safe uh, serfs for service in the military. That's very very kind of them, isn't it? The Tyrone or Tier again, whatever. Scotland's now in quite a few pieces, and so in England, it's not much nicer. Hmm. 
Would you not give me the military access I require? No, you wouldn't. See, hostile attitude, that's the only problem, so there's no point continuing with that. Burgundy has hostile towards me as well. It's not very nice of them, but nothing really can really do. Um, I'd rather not spend it on stability. I mean, there's already people with one of the uh, points. I suppose build cost will be better than the other two. Because it'll be useful for when I want to build. Well, guys, we're going to have to end this here. Unfortunately, that is. Uh, can we get rid of that? Okay, so getting rid of that, all it did is really make that province useful, useless for a while. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this campaign. Put in the comments if you want me to continue. I'll release this one part on its own, and then I'll get your feedback. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Legionnaires, they're proud the Shadow Legion.